Rain the tight end in motion. Second and goal. It's Bowser. Touchdown. No trouble that time for Northwestern. Look at the push on the left side of the line. Pull around, push. It's called pin and pull. You pin them on one side, they pull around the other. Bowser has some big bodies in front of him and waltzes into the end zone. And that is a sight to see. In the quarterback position, playing big roles tonight already in the first quarter. Ramsey steps up, gets through some traffic, stretching things out. How about the speed on Peyton Ramsey? It's a touchdown. Bring your own juice. <laughs> That's what the number one saying in week one in the Big Ten. Watch the juice on Peyton Ramsey. A little okie doke there. Now watch the speed here. Turns it on, and he's able to outrun Nick Cross to the pylon. That's a safety he beat to the corner. Peyton Ramsey always has been productive. And the Northwestern fans are all about it. But Northwestern's coaching staff confident about the depth they have at the running back position. Drake Anderson in there now with his second straight carry. Weaving his way back across the field. He's got a cavalry in front. Anderson, touchdown. Hits it north and south. Just a basic zone play. Good vision here. Cuts it back in screen. Now watch Peyton Ramsey, the ultimate teammate, trying to throw a block. And just enough with McGowan and Ramsey out in front of him to finish the run. You break long runs when you have exceptional downfield blocking. That's Bowser in the flat. Ramsey's got him for the touchdown. And instead of running the ball to Bowser, you don't hit off. He just kind of slips out and Chance Campbell unable to get there. And Peyton Ramsey will see all year by far. But as far as we go, it's impressive. Evan Hall. Puts Northwestern over 300 yards of total rushing in this game, and he's into the end zone. Packers go the opposite direction. They should be reading the linemen because the linemen never lie. You see they pull around, big block on the edge, and nobody's there on the edge. He just goes right around the corner. And they'll run it with jet sweep action here, and they'll get the touchdown as Kyrick McGowan puts it in the end zone. And boy, is that a huge touchdown drive for Northwestern. Number one, Jesse Brown with the lead block. It's a huge block right up there in the perimeter. Boom! Because one of those tight ends, Rain, misses the block and he just kind of cleans it up. Jesse Brown. Touchdown! Just watch the left side. The, all these guys are going to crash down. And then this is a fullback. And the fullback is going to lead out on that block. Now, it's not actually a fullback. It is a defensive tackle. Joe Spivak, 93. Bang. How about that? You get those down blockers. Watch the bottom of the screen. Down block. And then you got a 300-pound fullback coming through to take care of that edge. That's outstanding. That's one of those power plays that Northwestern loves to run. In formation. Spivak at fullback. Here's Brown at the goal line. Reaches it across. And that is a Northwestern touchdown. The Wildcats a point after away from taking the lead as they have come all the way back from 17 0 down. Cut. What a cut by Brown all the way backside. There's that power run game for Northwestern again. It's Anderson again. That hole opens up. Anderson slips three. Down the sideline. Anderson 10 5. And he is going to be in for a touchdown. 66 Nick Urban at the point of attack pulls around. And that springs Drake Anderson on a little bit of a counter play. And Anderson has the. Jesse Brown, the tailback, at two rushing scores last week. Second and goal from the two. They fake it to Brown. Ramsey throws to the end zone. And that's caught. And a touchdown for John Rain. Transfer from FAU. John Rain has his first touchdown look as a Wildcat. Yeah, look at the adjustment there by Rain. JoJo Doman close. Spivak, when they've shown this on tape, they've given the ball to Brown while Spivak. Second and goal. Ramsey throws underneath. There's a catch, a spin, diving for the end zone. Riley Lease is in for a touchdown. Only fitting, Riley Lease had the big punt return for 33 yards, set this drive up, a good field position now, stretching for the goal line, and Ramsey with his second passing touchdown today, this time finds the senior from Libertyville. 
on first and goal. After the penalty, they will feet and throw to the end zone. That's caught for a touchdown. Ramon Joaquil Bowman. It's a drive to start the game. The end cut's going to come from the right side of your screen off the mess point. Not the prettiest throwing motion that Peyton Ramsey had. And second and 11. Ramsey thinking big to the end zone. It's caught Joaquil Bowman. Touchdown, Northwestern. Watching work here, standing tall. Got one underneath. Get a smash concept. Jaquia Bowman making the grab. Grabs it, transfer tight end John Rain. They sling it out. Jaquia Bowman, two touchdowns, make it three. Touchdown, Northwestern. To Jaquia Bowman for the third time tonight. Ramsey to the wide receiver for a touchdown. Well, they use a scissors concept, so you're going to have crossers down there. Badgers to not be happy with the officiating here through the first four minutes. First and goal from the two. Ramsey has an open man and a touchdown. Watch him get to the back of the end zone. He's going to show block first. That's why he's going to get lost. He's going to block and then release, and he gets behind the linebackers, and nobody knows he's there except quarterback Peyton Ramsey. And Northwestern on the scoreboard first. And 10 on the 25. Ramsey 15 out of 19. Most of them short throws. This one's a long throw for the throw. And yeah. it is for RCB. It's a touchdown. A burden in coverage for the Badgers. This is a perfect throw. Over the outside shoulder. You see the foot down before he lands out of bounds. You cannot place the football any better as you take a look at the view from our progressive pylon cam. Perfect throw over the outside shoulder. I mean, this, you cannot throw it any better than Peyton Ramsey did right here. Away from the defender, impossible to defend. Joe Spivak, the defensive lineman, comes in to play fullback. He's number 93. It's a play fake. Ramsey keeps, and he saunters in for an easy touchdown. Boy, he sold that. Michigan State bit. And six on the board for the Cats. All crashing down. Everything's coming this way. And then you get the naked bootleg. They're so aggressive trying to stop that interior run. We've got some Wildcat here. Ramsey's up top of the screen up there. Direct snap. And it's going to be a touchdown. Northwestern the lead. Yeah, good job with the Wildcat here. Get Ramsey the outside. Quick hitter. First and goal for Northwestern from the two to kick off this second quarter, and Peyton Ramsey will throw it and complete it for a touchdown. You got a big old D lineman playing. Fullback looks like run. Easy throw into the end zone. Nobody on him. Great fake up front. Excellent drive. Boy, the Northwestern needed that and see it a little earlier than that if we can see where it was, because from that view, I didn't see what they saw. So first and goal, and Porter will walk it in, untouched until he was across the goal line. He has no problem dropping that shoulder and going straight ahead. He'll, he'll try and outrun you too, but... 34 times for 224 yards. Third and five, another direct snap. And the true freshman Porter has a first down and a touchdown. Watch 52, the center, Sam Jarek. Right there, nice block, just pushing out back. Cut. Good patience. Shown by Porter as well. I think that their chance for the playoffs really got hurt with that loss to Michigan State. Fourth down, you know they're going to go for it. And Evan Hall breaks free. And Evan Hall is home free. At the gut where the two starting D tackles are missing. A huge hole. Excellent block by Peter Skaronski. And really that whole line. But Skaronski, a true fresh. Well, about eight yards, but the safety takes a bad angle. And it's first and goal. Here's the Wildcat formation. Porter. Touchdown, Northwestern. Uh-oh. Attack the legs of the defensive line. Watch this cut block. Gunnar Vogel is going to go down the right tackle, and he's going to get Haskell Garrett onto the ground, and then that's where the seam opens up for the cutback and the true freshman.